All cells have a plasma membrane, a protein lipid bilayer that forms a barrier separating cell contents from the extracellular environment. Lipids comprising the plasma membrane are amphipathic, having hydrophilic and hydrophobic moieties that associate spontaneously to form a close bimolecular sheet. Membrane proteins are embedded in the lipid bilayer held in place by one or more do domains, spanning the hydrophobic core. Detergent cell lysis is a milder and easier alternative to physical disruption of cell membranes. Detergents break the lipid barrier surrounding cells by solubilizing proteins and disrupting lipid-lipid, protein-protein, and protein-lipid interactions. Detergents, like lipids, self-associate and bind to hydrophobic surfaces. They are composed of a polar hydrophilic head group and a non-polar hydrophobic tail and are categorized by the nature of the head group as either ionic, non-ionic, or zwitterionic. Their behavior depends on the properties of the head group and tail. The choice of detergent for cell lysis also depends on sample type. Animal cells, bacteria, and yeast all have different requirements for optimal lysis due to the presence or absence of a cell wall. Because of the dense and complex nature of animal tissues, they require both detergent and mechanical lysis. In addition to the choice of detergent, other important considerations for optimal cell lysis include the buffer, pH, salt concentration, and temperature. Considerations should be given to the compatibility of the chosen detergent with downstream applications. Many types of studies require the localization of a protein or isolation of enriched protein from a specific cellular compartment. There are many protocols in the literature and commercially available kits that yield pure cellular protein. The method which CHAPS buffer is used for lysis allows the isolation of a purified protein from cellular fractions. It is used as a non-denaturing detergent in the process of protein purification and is especially useful in purifying membrane proteins which are often sparingly soluble or insoluble in aqueous solution due to their native hydrophobicity. It can gently and effectively break the nuclear membrane, solubilize the membrane proteins and destruct the protein-protein interactions. Besides, CHAPS is able to protect the native state or conformation of a protein, and thus can maintain the activity and function of the protein. CHAPS is sulfobetaine derivative of chloic acid. This ionic detergent is useful for membrane protein solubilization when it is important to maintain protein activity. CHAPS detergent is soluble over a wide range of pH, 2 to 12, and is easily removed from solution by because it has a high critical micelle cell concentration. In contrast, ionic detergents are strong solubilizing agents and tend to denature proteins, thereby destroying protein activity and function. Here you can see the recipe for CHAPS buffer. For 100 ml CHAPS buffer, you need 3 ml 1 molar trisk chloride at pH 7.5 and 3 ml 5 molar sodium chloride and then 10 ml 10% CHAPS detergent and 84 ml double distilled water to fill it up to 100 ml. Firstly, we have to prepare the CHAPS buffer. To do that, we have to measure 84 ml double distilled water, then we add 3 ml 1 molar trisk chloride at pH 7.5 and 3 ml 5 molar sodium chloride. Finally, we add 10 ml 10% CHAPS detergent and then the CHAPS buffer is ready to use.
Now we will do protein isolation from HEC293 cells. First, we need to remove the old medium which cells were growing in, and then we need to wash the cells with 1 ml PBS. After this washing step, we add 1 ml PBS and start scratching the cells from the plate. To get the cells in pellet, we centrifuge this tube at 13,200 rpm for 30 seconds. Then we discard the supernatant part. Now, for lysis to take place, we resuspend the pellet with 4 to microliter chaps buffer and then incubate on ice for 30 minutes. Next, we do centrifuge at 13,200 rpm for 10 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Finally, we transfer supernatant into new Appendorf and store at minus 20 degrees Celsius. CHAPS has been successfully used to solubilize intrinsic membrane proteins, and now the protein used for downstream applications such as western blotting and STS page. But first we need to quantify the amount of protein. For that, we will do Bradford assay in the next video.